Hi, it's me, Bailey, and today I'm here to talk to you about something a little bit different. Um, I'm going on a diet. Actually, more of a protocol. Protocol sounds a little bit better. I'm going to give a try the Delgado diet. Um, when we were at the Gluten Free Expo, we stopped by the booth and they gave us this awesome, awesome cookbook. And after making a couple recipes, um, we did do a couple of them on the Gluten Free Best Friend. We showed you the mushroom gravy over here, and then we also showed you the sweet potato burgers over here. The Delgado diet is a non-inflammatory diet, so it eliminates common allergens like gluten, soy, and dairy. Personally, gluten's really the only thing that my body really hates, um, but I'm interested to see if I feel any difference while on this diet. Um, and then it kind of replaces them with just whole foods that are natural and good for you, and they're really handy. They give you an actual cookbook to follow that has recipes for, for everything. There's breakfast, there's lunch, there's appetizers, there's drinks, there's cocktails, there's cocktail dish. Um, there's also just dinner and everything. There's all sorts of stuff and all the recipes look really great. I'm really excited to try more and more of them and kind of just create a meal plan around this book. Kind of the main idea behind this diet is to eliminate like fatty oils because from some of the research that they've done, um, the body's just not able to really absorb it the right way, and so this kind of takes those out. Which for me is kind of the most challenging because I love cooking with olive oil. It's, it's like my go-to, but I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna take the challenge. I think I can, you know, put it to rest and see, you know, see how I feel. What's a little bit different about this diet is that it also eliminates soy. In a lot of uh, vegan diets, soy is like kind of like a main component, as well as a lot of oils. Um, I know a lot of my vegan friends go out to eat and just get french fries, so they're either oil and they'll get a soy latte. Soy. Um, so this takes those out of there. So again, it kind of takes away some of those basics that you're going to find um, kind of handy in a lot of like the pre-made processed things that you're going to get. Um, but again, this kind of really focuses on the whole foods. It is probably going to be a bit of a challenge because I do like to indulge at times and have some fun treats, but I'm going to try to be as strict as possible. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited to try it and see if I feel any different. Again, it's the Simply Healthy Cookbook. Um, and their whole motto is we want you to be healthy, not hungry. So they really encourage making all these delicious things. And there's so many great recipes that I'm super excited to make. And one thing that I'm excited that I already have been doing, um, which is going to make this a little bit easier for me, is I get a... Um, for me, it's called Farm Fresh. It's just local produce that's delivered um, every couple weeks. And I think a combination of my Farm Fresh box with my Simply Healthy cookbook and trips to the farmer's market is going to really help me go for it and just kind of base the recipes I have off of whatever's in the box and what recipes I find. Um, and then, of course, if there's a recipe that I'm dying to try, I'll just go to, the, go to Whole Foods or something. Um, but I'm super excited to try it. And I actually just received um, my Farm Fresh box yesterday and I haven't even opened it so I was thinking I would open it up see what's in there and then pick a recipe to make. Okay so now I'm gonna get my box. Let's see it's pretty big and heavy. Ugh. There we go. Alright. So let's see what's in here. I'm really excited. So in today's box, I have some spinach. I have, holy moly, some serious broccoli. Watch out, book. I need you. Oh, I love when I get fresh herbs. It smells so good. Okay. I also have, oh, some bok choy. I actually never knew anything about this or how to cook it until I got this in a box once, and now it's one of my favorite things. Some radishes. I have some leeks, ginormous leeks, by the way. I also have, ooh, butternut squash, and some carrots. What's this? Oh, some fennel. Holy moly. Some serious felt fennel. Okay. And some kale. And is this it? Oh, there's some lettuce in here. So this is all my stuff. 
So now I need to figure out what I'm going to make with it all. So now that I have an idea of what is in my Farm Fresh box, what I have in my fridge, I flipped through the Simply Healthy cookbook and I came up with three recipes right away, just quick and easy, the ones that kind of popped out that already have the ingredients that I have. And so this is what they are. So the first one is a roasted carrot ginger soup. So this is going to be delicious because I love soup in when it starts to get cold like this season. Even in LA, it does get chilly and I like to have soup. Um, and another thing about soup is that whenever I do get these boxes, and whenever I trim up the vegetables, I have so many clippings left so I can make an awesome vegetable stock from scratch. And it's super easy, just toss it all in there and boil it with some seasoning. Um, and it's so great, you don't have to buy it, it's, it's free, it's easy. The second recipe that I chose is a kale, garlic, and thyme pasta. So I'll use the kale that's in there and a couple other ingredients. Um, and probably quinoa pasta, it tends to be one of my favorites. Um, and so that'll be a great one for dinner, I think, for when I kind of come home from work and I'm just hungry and I want something, something hearty, that'll be it. And the third recipe I'm gonna make from the cookbook from this box of, of goodies that I have is a red quinoa medley. And this one has a picture, so I'll show you that right there. We'll zoom in on it in a second. Um, and this one, it uses the butternut squash, so perfect. What's better in fall than butternut squash and quinoa? Not much. So those are the three that I'm gonna start with. And then I'm gonna go through and pick some things that are gonna be really good for breakfast or like salad to take to lunch for work. Um, and then some things to come home to that are kind of easy. And then of course there's always the option for dessert. There's quite a few great dessert recipes in here so I'm excited to make those too. I will check back with you guys um, in a few weeks and let you know how I'm, how I'm doing with the diet. Hopefully no more cheating like on Thanksgiving. Um, but I'm excited. I think it's going to go well, um, and I will let you guys know.